today we're on our way to Motelands. Sun's out, my beautiful girlfriend's out. I know, what a way to end the week. Yes, and it's about time we had some sunshine. We've had clouds, rain, a lot of overcast. And now it's time for Motelands. Let's go. Here we are. We've arrived at Motelands. This is the calm before the storm. People are starting to arrive in the background to fill up all the car park spaces. But we've stumbled across this very nice SVJ, but we're almost certain it's the same color as the Vantage. What do you think? It may well be a Lamborghini in Lamborghini blue. Yeah, that is obviously based off the CTR. So yeah, quite cool. Because cool, I literally said to you, didn't I say, I don't think I've ever seen a Lamborghini in that color. Yeah. And then we turn it's up and this is like one. the first one that's <laughs> arrived and it's in that kind of specific blue. But, um, but yeah, we'll show you around the cars. Hypercars are up on the top. We've got a Chiron, a Senna, and the Speedster. So um, show you those and take you for a wander around and see what else is about. Look. getting a bit mad uh, there's literally like nowhere to park anymore no it's whammo there's literally still cars coming in like queues of cars not even just like the occasional odd one um obviously the this bit's completely full been to? yeah no definitely the busiest which is a good thing it's yes. not a bad thing no no it's not a bad thing at all like lots of cars lots of different kind of specs and models but yeah in terms of space and where everyone's going to park uh -huh. no idea <laughs> literally no clue so this is the first M3 CS I've seen, and it's actually a really good spec. I'll show you around the side. You've got really nice, like a light satin bronze wheel, and then uh, satin white paint as well. So it's, uh, it ties in really nicely. And it's very bold spec, which we like. Carbon. Yeah, overload of carbon. Diffuser, spoiler, yeah, splitters, roof. But it's probably all standard, I'd imagine, on the CS because obviously you pay silly money for all the extras. And even the red badge on the side is quite nice. So it looks like people are starting to leave. So I think we should probably get the drone up before it all starts to empty out a bit and the drone stuff doesn't look as good. But what lovely weather. There's not actually too much wind either, so we shouldn't have any problems with flying it. No. It's just for really high trees. Yeah, like that tree there, that's like a big danger. This one we stood underneath now is pretty They're big. They're all just really high, so you need to be careful. Yeah, I need to get my FPV sorted out tonight.
see one of these here. Obviously, the GTA is what Challenger Road compared the CTR Vantage to. So, to see one in the flesh is always nice. First time seeing one for you, isn't it? Yeah. What I'd think? say it looks more similar to the CTR3. Yes, yeah, in terms of kind of like the extended splitter. Yeah. Obviously, the spoiler is the only thing that Richard hasn't altered at all, really. He's obviously got the slight lip on it, but I wonder if he'd ever put a yeah. kind of fully extensive wing on one because that for me is like such a like inclusive part of the gta and the gt12 of course as well so to have that kind of really nice lifted this suspended spoiler it's uh yeah it looks uh, a bit more aggressive oh yeah it definitely does from the back doesn't it but yeah lovely car so this is the side of motlands that you don't really see because obviously most people just know it's a car event and that's about it um, there's ducks. There's also a very loud event door leaving. But um, but yeah, so this is all like the lakes because this used to be a golf course years and years ago. So the putting green and all those kind of bits and pieces used to be out front of the house where... That's where your balls would have ended up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? If you went in there, I genuinely think you'd probably still find some golf balls. <laughs> They'd be like Callaways from like 1960 or something. But um, yeah, you'd probably find up a couple of golf clubs as well, I'd imagine. <laughs> But yeah, just to give you a little kind of sneak peek of what the kind of grounds are like. Yeah, it's beautiful. probably here yes everyone has vanished everyone's off weird we were talking to richard for like maybe 20 30 minutes and <laughs> everywhere just like is now empty <laughs> so we've missed quite a few nice cars leaving which is a little bit annoying yeah um but we've got a few bits obviously that have gone before this but we're gonna make our own move now um another mega event well done max and apex the turnout was definitely bigger than it's ever been yeah, before. Yeah, probably a lot more than they anticipated actually, but... Yeah, I mean even like the amazing. spaces, like they've used fields that I didn't even know were part of this bit of land <laughs> to yeah. make sure they could accommodate all the cars. Um, but yeah, uh, loads of cars here again that I haven't seen before. Really cool to see that Chiron, because I haven't seen that before either. Um, and a really, really nice blue, very similar to this SVJ that we obviously spoke about before, so that was cool to see. Uh, but we're going to make a move. Thank you for watching the video. Yep. Like and subscribe, plenty more videos to come. No idea what I'm gonna have next, <laughs> but there's definitely something in the pipeline already. Yeah. I'm not gonna give it away. And just another shout out to Richard from Challenge the Road. Yeah, absolutely mega for letting us have this car for the week. Yeah. Uh, and continued. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. See you again soon. I think it's a 675LT, 
and I believe it's due to two RS, so a mega little convoy. It's probably like a really nice free car garage. <laughs> Hopefully this one over there don't join us soon. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't do a U-turn. <laughs> oh! Another one They've out. heard the noise, haven't they? And then they've got a BMW absolutely ragging it around the corner behind them. 